Hello, we are discussing about gate 2013 ECE paper. Look at the signal flow graph given for a system. Find the transfer function from that one and choose the right option. So, transfer function from a signal flow graph can be calculated from Masson's gain formula and Masson's gain formula is going to be giving the transfer function which is y of s divided by u of s that is equal to we can write it as sigma p k into delta k where k is nothing but number of forward paths divided by delta so number of forward paths first you have to find the number of forward paths that is this is first forward path ok 1 1 1 1 this is first forward path and second forward path can be 2 2 2 2 that is this is second forward path so p1 is nothing but gain of gain of first forward path first forward path so that is indicating with 1 so multiply the gains indicated 1 into s minus 1 1 into s minus 1 and 1 so s minus 1 s minus 1 is s power minus 2 so s power minus 2 is you can write it as 1 by s square and p2 is equal to gain of second forward path gain of second forward path second forward path is going through this way 2 2 2 2 so 1 into s minus 1 s power minus 1 into 1 into 1 so you will get only 1 s power minus 1 which is nothing but 1 by s so forward path gains we have calculated ok now we will see how to calculate delta delta is equal to delta can be written as 1 minus ok sum of individual loops sum of individual loop gains sum of individual loop gains so first we need to find out how many number of loops are there ok and each loop what is the gain of that loop and they must be added up you have to place over here and next plus sum of ok gain of two non touching loops two non touching loops minus ok sum of gains of sum of gains of three non touching loops like this you have to write three non touching loops so we will extend in this way but we don't do these all these things first of all find the number of individual loops number of individual loops is first ok so this is the first one for example first one is this one and second one second one is this one and third one third one is this and fourth one ok fourth one is this one this is fourth one so L1 loop gain L1 is equal to for example L1 is the loop gain so L1 is first path first path is nothing but this one so 1 into minus 4 so this will be minus 4 since the arrows are moving in this direction it is going through this loop 1 into minus 4 and this is L2 is gain of second loop second loop is this one only just simple 4 minus 4 into 1 by uh, into 1 by s so this will be minus 4 by s and third loop third loop is red color so for this one L3 is equal to minus 2 by s square because 1 by s into 1 by s into minus 2 minus 2 by s square and L4 is equal to L4 is the this one so bigger so but even though it is bigger this is minus 2 into 1 by s into 1 only so this will be minus 2 by s itself 
okay so there are four individual loops so first we can express delta is equal to 1 minus l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 and plus is there any two loops which are going to be non-touched so if you are observing l1 and l2 l1 and l2 are going to be sharing a common node so they are touched if there is no common node for any two loops then we can say that one they are non-touched okay but if you observe all the loops are going to be touching each other because at least one node is going to be common for them so that there are no non-touching loops are going to be possible so we don't write anything for this if two non-touching loops are not present not getting then definitely three or four you don't get okay so this is what delta delta can be calculated as one minus half okay if you are writing l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 all are having negative so that will become plus l1 is 4 and l2 is 4 by s plus l3 is 2 by s square plus l4 is 2 by s so if you are adding similar terms 1 plus 4 will become 5 plus 4 by s 2 by s it becomes 6 by s plus 2 by s square this is what delta value and delta 1 is going to be similar that is 1 of minus sum of individual loop gains plus sum of gain of two non-touching loops next three non-touching loops like this but the loops which are connected to that forward path should be neglected we should not consider the loops which are connected to that forward path now if you observe all the four loops are going to be connected to that forward path so you don't get any extra loop which is not connected with this first forward path so simply there will be 1 minus 0 you don't write anything sum of individual loop gains you don't get any individual loop which is not connected with kth forward path that is first forward path so simply it is 1 and next delta 2 is also same same as delta but you must neglect the loops which are connected with second forward path so second forward path is this one and all the loops are going to be touched with second forward path so here also you will get 1 ok now substitute in this one you know the equation now you are going to use this one so this will be simply p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 divided by delta that is the final equation so now calculate transfer function using this equation y of s divided by u of s is equal to p1 that is 1 by s square into 1 delta 1 is 1 plus p2 is 1 by s and delta 2 is 1 so it will be 1 by s only divided by okay delta delta already we have seen 5 plus 6 by s plus 2 by s square 5 plus 6 by s plus 2 by s square so take 1 by s square common from the numerator so that will be 1 plus s divided by 1 by s square common from the denominator so this will be 5 s square plus 6 s plus 2 so 1 by s square 1 by s square get cancels so you will get it as s plus 1 divided by s 5 s square plus 6 s plus 2 this is a transfer function required so s plus 1 by 5 s square plus 6 s plus 2 that is answer a so the right option for this question is a